welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the optical drive in a late 2009 27-inch iMac. We've already gathered our materials, shut down, unplugged, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first thing we'll need to do is remove the front glass. Open the handle of one of your suction cups, press it against one of the upper corners of the front glass, and close the handle to secure it in place. Repeat the process on the other side. Then, gently pull forward on the handles, separating the glass from the magnets that hold it in place. You can then lift the glass up and out of the iMac and set it aside. At this point, you'll need to be careful not to touch the LCD directly, as the oils from your hands are difficult to remove. Next, we'll need to remove these eight Torx T10 screws. Then, pull it forward until you can see the vertical sink cable in the top left corner. Detach this cable by pulling it straight up and out of the connector. Below the vertical sink cable is the backlight power cable. Detach it by lifting the connector up off the clip and sliding it downward. Next, slide the temperature sensor cable out of its socket. Finally, detach the DisplayPort connector by squeezing the side tabs and gently pulling upward. You can now lift the LCD unit up and out of the iMac and set it aside. The optical drive is located in the center right of the iMac. First though, you'll need to detach the ODD temperature sensor cable along the lower right. Just slide it out of its connector and lift the cable out of the channel alongside the fan. You can now remove the four Torx T10 screws that hold the drive in place. Lift the rear of the drive and remove the SATA connector. You may have to wiggle it a little to get it free. You can now slide the drive assembly back off the pins and remove it from the iMac. We'll need to remove some hardware from the original drive so we can attach it to the new one. Start by turning the drive over and removing these two Torx T10 screws from the side. Do the same with these two screws on the other side. Flip the assembly back over and lift the rear of the drive up slightly to loosen the tape holding it to the front of the bracket. Then, peel the tape up, and you should be able to slide the drive out. Peel off the foam pad covering the temperature sensor cable, then carefully detach the sensor itself. Be careful, as the sensor is attached quite securely and you don't want to break it. You can now set your original drive aside. If your new optical drive comes with a plastic bezel on the front, you'll need to remove it before installing it into your iMac. To do so, use your nylon pry tool or the tip of a small screwdriver to loosen the clips on the top, side, and bottom of the drive. You should then be able to pull the bezel free. Along the front edge of the drive carrier, there are five tabs. Three are circular, two are squared. Slide the new drive into the carrier so that the circular tabs go over the top of the drive while the square ones go underneath and latch into the holes in the drive. Reseal the tape to hold the drive in place. Set the temperature sensor onto the drive in roughly the same place as it was on the original. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Then, cover the sensor with the foam pad. Finally, secure the drive into place using the four Torx T10 screws you removed earlier. The drive is now ready to install. Line up the two holes on the drive carrier with the two pins on the iMac. Attach the SATA cable to the rear of the drive 
and position it so that it lays flat in the bay. Be careful of the cable in the lower right. The carrier needs to go underneath it to be positioned properly. Once the drive is in place, secure it with the four Torx T10 screws. Finally, slide the temperature sensor cable back into its connector and run the remaining cable down the channel next to the fan. We are now ready to close up. Set the LCD back into the iMac, but don't lean it back. First, reattach the DisplayPort connector by sliding it into its slot until it clicks. Then, do the same for the temperature sensor cable. On the left side, push the power connector into place until the docking tab engages. Finally, slide the vertical sync ribbon cable into its connector, being careful not to wrinkle or break off any of the connectors. Once all the cables are attached, you can lay the screen all the way back. We can now replace the eight Torx T10 screws that hold the LCD in place. To ease alignment, place a small screwdriver in the topmost hole of one of the sides and use it to position the LCD. Then, insert a screw into the next lower hole, but don't tighten it all the way. Do the same on the other side. You can now replace and tighten the four screws on each side. Once all the screws have been replaced and tightened, all we have left to do is replace the glass. Set the glass panel into place along the lower edge by lining up the tabs with their corresponding slots. Use your microfiber cloth to gently wipe any dust off the screen and off the inside of the glass. Lean the glass back up into place until the magnets catch. Then gently squeeze along the top edge to make sure all the sides are flush. You can now remove the suction cups and wipe away any marks using your microfiber cloth. You may now plug in your iMac, hook it back up, and turn it on.